Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how we fix this whole issue or how we remove just custom content from the game that we might not want. So to start off, I recommend we start with a completely base game sim with no CC. I think my sim is actually wearing some CC but oh well, I know that my issue is hair related so um, I'm not going to bother removing anything. So, I've got quite a few different hairs that I've not downloaded the mesh for. Um, yeah, and this is like just not nice. <laughs> I'm probably actually going to be downloading the uh, meshes for the hair. But like, say if you didn't want any, like if you had a hair that you didn't like and you wanted to take it out of your game, this method would also work. So, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and find the hairs that are causing me issues. Like, yeah. The ones that I don't have the meshes for, I'm just going to go ahead and pop that on my sim. And then save my household. Oh, no. No, I won't. I first need to give them a name. So I'm just going to randomize this. Come on. There we go. Kaylee. Let's use Kaylee. And what we're going to do is we're going to be saving her to my library. Okay, nice. Oh, did you see those teeth? Nice. Uh, and what other hair has been giving me issues? Not you. Um, nope. <laughs> oh, this one. I know this one. So I'm going to get this one. Save it. Save it. Sweet. Um... What else? What else? What else? What else? You? You. Yeah. And I'm just saving. And I know you. Save. And we've got you guys. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. I think I think I've done it all now. Just this one as well, obviously. Um. Yeah. I think that's it for my master pairs so then what you're gonna want to do is this you're gonna want to have the sims 4 tray imported um now this is free and it's just really helpful for doing this so as you can see we have different saves of this sim that we created um with all the bad hairs and um, there are three different options here general files and cc and we're gonna to want to click cc so as you can see i did say i would have other mods <laughs> installed on the sim uh the reason why we wanted a base sim really was so it was easy to find the cc that was bad well because i know it was the hair it's right here right here <laughs> um and yeah it's just we have now got the name of the hair that was clearly causing me some issues. So if you're looking to delete the hair, all you'd have to do is go right click and show containing folder and then you could go ahead and delete that. But I'm not going to because I want to actually get the meshes for all these hairs. <coughs> oh god. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to go find on Google. And this should bring me to something, yeah here and it didn't take me to the exact one but I know that it's here and I click this um, and you click go to download um, so here's the mesh that I didn't download and now I'm gonna download it so I'll get back to you when I've put all the meshes in my game and show you how it should have hopefully worked Okay guys, so I'm back in game and look! My CC! It's not all weird anymore. It actually works. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's nice. Well, I guess at least it works. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I'm just so happy that my CC actually works now. Yay! And it was so easy to do. It was just like finding CC. And the tray importer just makes it so much easier. So yeah, I hope this helped some of you guys out. Um, look how cute. Uh, 
yeah, I hope it helped you out. And I don't know if it did, but I thought I'd make this video anyway, just because, you know, why not? Look at all these pretty colors. Yeah, so I will leave The Sims 4 Tree and Porter in the description below. I hope you find this video a little bit helpful. I don't know. And yeah, I guess I'll see you when I next make a video. Okay. Bye. <laughs>